Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to discuss a very important question a C program to check whether an input number is Armstrong number or not so it's a good question and it's generally asked in, in interviews so uh, before solving this problem let's first understand what is an Armstrong number so an Armstrong number is an n digit number that is equal to the sum of the nth power of a digit so uh, seems confusing let's take an example so uh, let's first take an example of number 153 so 153 has 3 digits so the power of cube of n plus the cube of 5 plus the cube of 3 so what's the sum of uh, so here is 1 plus 125 plus 27 so it is equivalent to 153 so 153 has 3 digit and for each digit we are doing the cube of a number so it is 153 so it's an Armstrong number Armstrong number now let's take another uh, number 15 15 has 2 digit so if I square of 1 plus square of 5 so it is 1 plus 25 which is 26 so the square of a number of the digit is not equal to the original number so it's not an Armstrong number it's not an Armstrong number similarly take another example 6 6 has one digit if we do the power of 1 which is equal to 6 so it's an Armstrong number Armstrong number Similarly, if we take an example of uh, let's say a big number 1634. So 1634 has 4 digit. So 1 to the power 4 plus 6 to the power 4 plus 3 to the power 4 plus 4 to the power 4 which is equivalent to 1634 so it's an Armstrong number so I hope you have understood what is Armstrong number so so in simple language uh, an Armstrong number is a n digit number that is equal to the sum of nth power of a digit which I have explained through an examples so let's let's solve this problem so how do you solve this problem let's first discuss the approach so we first take an input number take an input number we find the length of a number find the length of a number and we do the sum of a number sum of the power of a number <clears throat> and after that we compare it to the original number so if it's equal then it's an Armstrong number otherwise it's not an Armstrong number let's solve this problem so I just let's declare some variable remainder sum equal to 0 let's first take an input number enter a number then 
that assign this number to a temp uh, why I am assigning is so I am assigning this in a temporary variable so that we can find the length of a number so let's how do I find the length of a number let's suppose if temp is greater than 0 then what I am doing is I am incrementing the value of n which let's say assign initially assign it to 0 incrementing the value of n n reduces the value of temp so if the input number is 153 so in first situation temp is greater than 0 yes so the value of n is 1 and after dividing it to 10 the value of temp becomes 15 15 is greater than 0 yes the value of n is 2 and after dividing its value is 1 1 is greater than 0 yes so the value of n is 3 and this time uh, the value of temp is 0 so if we have found the length of a number which is 3 so this is clear now let's move to another so now the current value of temp is 0 let's reinitialize it to num and this time while second loop to uh, while temp is greater than 0 yes so let's first find the remainder remainder of a number then cal let's calculate the sum sum is sum plus remember uh, the concept of armstrong number so we have to find the number power and now reduce the number ten is ten ten and for using power we have to include math.h so if temp is greater than zero then we have uh, find the remainder so in case of 153 let's take an example of 153 so the remainder of a number is 3 so sum is initially the value of sum is 0 0 plus 3 to the power what's the length of a number 3 3 to the power 3 now and now the temp reduces to 15 so we have a sum 27 temp 15 the 15 is greater than 0 we again found the remainder which is 5 now 27 plus 5 to the power 3 and the value of temp reduces to 1 so this time the remainder is 1 and now the 27 plus 125 which is 152 and the power 1 to the power 3 and uh, now the temp reduces to 0 so this loop will break so we found that the new the sum is 153 so let's compare if num equal to original number equal to the calculated sum then enter Armstrong number. So input project is Armstrong number. Else, input project is not an Armstrong number. Not, not an Armstrong number. So we have done the coding part let's ex run and execute this program so let's enter some input value so let's enter enter some input value so suppose I am entering 15 and now let's run 
15 is not an Armstrong number. Similarly, if I enter 153, 153 is Armstrong number. So, I hope you have understand, understood this program and the concept of Armstrong number. For more such tutorial, you can visit our website which is www.cprogrammingcode.com and also you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more such video tutorial. Thanks for watching this program.